And I welcome you back to the Debrenic Channel. Today we are talking about Natural Springs. And you may have seen Natural Springs and I have everything you need to know. So please like and subscribe and we'll be right back. Stick around. And the Debrenic Channel is back and wow, they have found water in the ocean wow you'd be like big deal no they have found fresh water in the ocean and it's crazy researchers have found fresh water plumes inside the ocean and this is great significant because basically what's going on there is a spring that's springing up that's causing these fresh water plumes to come in from the bottom of the ocean basically the ocean floor there's plumes that come up and that is outstanding because they have never been able to discover this before now if you go back to 2013 you can find that there is water underneath the ocean that's fresh water and that is crazy and that's interesting very very interesting because if they put their minds to it they could definitely stop the drought in california per se i'm sure there's fresh water under every sea and some scientists have estimated that there's so much fresh water underneath the sea just as much as there is on the land above the sea and if they would just get into that aquifer system they would definitely have a bunch of water now my thoughts on that if you start tapping into water that's under the sea and you bring it out into the world and start using it that would be more scarier to me than everything melting per se like you know how they say that global warming causing the ice age to come and so on and so forth but if they start taking water from aquifers underneath the sea and bring it out to the ocean how is the water going to be replenished because scientists also said that when those water plumes and aquifers came into existence was during the last ice age and they said that basically what happened was is when the ice age ended it started to melt and before the sea came that that water was seeping into the ground creating all those aquifers so therefore it's like a catch-22 if you suck that water out of the ground and it's not being replaced with rainwater and it's definitely not being replaced with groundwater because it's not being rained on and the reason why it's not being replaced with seawater is because it's got shell on top basically a nice hard pack from you know droppings and whatnot from animals and dead debris and so on and so forth that's why there's lime scales everywhere then this is very very interesting this could actually cause the coastlines to go away if we could get this water that's coming from plumes per se that's already water in the ocean so therefore it's not going to hurt it maybe or here's a philosophy for you is this the reason why ocean levels are currently rising according to scientists makes you wonder if it's the plumes and not the ice because when ice melts ice generally melts to be less as shown here so therefore makes you wonder if just maybe that all this groundwater is the reason why that there could be sea rise across the world now how irrelevant is it and it's really the case a lot of people use storms to prove that but that's really not an accurate way of proving things as far as that goes so i mean if you have aquifers all across the ocean that are letting in this groundwater underneath the ocean like let's just say it's like equivalent of the nile or the mississippi or maybe all of them combined all the rivers of the world combined they have no idea that could possibly be what could be the case of what's causing the sea to rise if it's really rising or maybe it's just nothing at all it's just a thought you know so anything things possible as far as that goes that would be pretty crazy though if that was the case now throughout history they have proven that the sea level gets a little less and it also rises quite a bit more so there's a whole lot of water on the earth regardless to what you say or what you think but there is a whole ton of water i mean just stop and think about it the ocean covers 70 percent of the earth's surface and 96 percent of the whole earth is covered with water it is a lot of water 
there's a whole bunch that they don't know about and they definitely don't know about these water plumes as they just recently discovered so i'll be watching that very carefully over the course of several days to see if anything else comes up and anytime i get any news i'll be reporting on this as well so y'all have a blessed day and we will see you back soon on the debris channel god bless and peace